All right, guys, welcome back, welcome back. How's things? We have a pretty interesting episode lined up for us because we are coming to the stage, believe it or not, we are coming to the stage of our Digimon careers in which we have almost done a lot of things in this game. Now, we haven't touched on our end game yet, but that is extremely soon, and if we don't touch it at the end of this episode at some point, then we definitely will be next episode. There's a few things that we have left to sort of tie up, and I thought that we could um, do some of that in this episode, but also, I think it's definitely about time that we fired our boy Todd here into some sort of tournament. Now, <laughs> let's have a look at this, right? So in the arena today, we've got um, a tea, which is Filthy Cup, that's for Sukumon, Numemon, Etamons, all that jazz, and uh, there's also an S tournament. Now, if you guys didn't know, S is obviously above A for strongest Digimon, I like to think of it as Super Digimon. That tournament, you're gonna ha in that tournament, you're gonna have your Skull Greymons, your Pixiemons, your Monzimons, Andromons, Metal Mammons, the whole nine. Um, probably like Vedmon and stuff like that as well. I think if we put Todd into that, I don't think he's gonna do that well. I honestly think he would get smashed. So, on the 15th, we have an A-type tournament. So, what I'm gonna do is put Todd in for this bad boy. Now, the last time we had a tournament with Ed, it was A-type and... We almost won it, but at the end, Piximon beat us. Now, whether we get a chance to 1v1 Piximon and get some of Ed's honour back, that would be pretty insane, and I would love for that to happen. So, until then, we've got other things to be doing. Now, one thing that I thought we could do real quick is actually take a trip to Beetle Land. Now, there's two things we can kind of do here, and you guys will see what that is pretty much in the next few minutes. Beetle Land, let's land here. Now, I actually don't know where we where we actually arrive here, because the only time we've been to Beetle Land before is obviously through our buddy Seedramon. Oh god, that gives me shakes thinking back to that nonsense. Now, we don't want to get in a battle with Tentamon, because he does uh, drop some thrashings on us, or he, at least the, the, he did the last time we were here. We are going to go and talk to the Cabateriamon in the gym, because although we can't enter a bug tournament or anything like that, we can actually pick up this technique that's in here. Now, we won't be able to use it as Todd, I don't think, but I might, I could be wrong. Let's uh, let's actually find out. I'm pretty sure it's for Earth-type Digimon, and looking at Todd's chart right now, he actually can't do any sort of Earth attacks. The whole thing is blanked out. Now, we haven't picked up any Earth moves yet, which we need to do at some point, but let's have a look. So, we're researching techniques, and it's difficult to master hard techniques. Um, if you have an ability, you might master the techniques. I don't know what this is here. It's kind of broken English. Um, want to master the hard ones, well, I guess, so let's try it. You lack defensive power, so let's actually have a look at Todd's defense right now. 480, so it appears that we need to get that stat up to probably 500. Now, it could be 600, but I honestly don't believe that to be the case. It just so happens in here, in Beetle Land itself, we have a defense training mechanism that we've never used before. So let's have a look at this apparatus and see if we can uh, get our defense above the threshold that it needs to be. Now, we don't actually have any, I guess we would need hot radishes for this training equipment on us. We need to buy some more of those, but still, we only need to do this once, maybe twice, to uh, to get up. So, uh, quote unquote, get up, lol. We get 15 for that, so we'll do it once more. Does Todd need anything? This is actually quite good, because this actually gives us training for our, turn our tournament tomorrow as well, so it's, we can kind of kill two birds with one stone. Now, again, a lot of you guys really probably want to see an S tournament, and we will do an S tournament very, very soon. But even Todd, in his insanely buff form right now, right, he's got his, uh, let's think about this. So he's got all his stats probably to some of the highest degrees that we've ever seen in any of our Digimon that we've raised before. But then on top of that, he also now has his full potential move, which is just fucking insane. And he also has a statue, which, as you guys have saw before, is an extremely powerful move for an extremely cheap price in terms of mana costs. You might think that you would actually be able to smash one of these S tournaments, but I honestly, honestly don't think... Uh, I don't think he would manage it. Now, I could be wrong on that, but... Let's let's talk about that in a second. Then I'll try it. So, Cabotarimon, we have now picked up the technique... And we've mastered the, and then it's got bug. Now this ability, I believe, is actually called bugs, with an S on the end, it's plural. Let's have a look, I could be wrong here. It's called bug here, but as you guys know, there's more than one when you drop the move. It's now in our technique list, and that is there for the future. Again, we can't pick that up, or we can't use it right now with Todd, which is a bit of a shame. But we will be able to, uh, we will be able to make use of that in the future. So, rather than just come all the way to Beetleland for nothing, I'm glad he did that right there. 
We're obviously going to let him use the bathroom. We're going to do some training on the side as well because this training equipment is actually pretty effective. Now, I wish we had some uh, training items with us like super carrots again and hawk radishes because this would have buffed this up even more. But as you can see, 156, that's a lot more than we get from the the, uh, the boulder in the green gym back at uh, File City. So we're just going to do a little bit more training here. Now, I want to get his HP up probably the most. We could focus on other things like defense and like speed and the likes of that but honestly for these tournaments a lot of the time it's just about being able to sustain the fights and survive long enough to actually get your abilities off so if we don't have enough hp we're just going to get basically trashed that takes us up to about almost six thousand let's knock over just for the uh for the sake of doing that and then i think for to be honest we could probably just jet back to the city now we have enough oil pilots that's awesome we actually have to pick up our sirloins and pay attention to Vegemon in town right now because we are running through sirloins something chronic with this guy. Uh, he is extremely, extremely big and he needs a lot of food on the regular. Now, I'm thinking about what we could do now. I've got some ideas. Let's actually head this way and we can actually do a bit more training in the, uh, the gym. This time we'll hit up the MP, the MP stat, which we couldn't do before. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably choking to see some uh, final sort of this end game that I keep talking about. And maybe this is a good opportunity to talk to you guys about that, right? Because I really, really want to raise a fresh Digimon before we go into the next part of the game. And that also ties into the demands that you guys have, or not demands, but requests to see us raising a Skull Greymon. Now, I would definitely love to raise Skull Greymon, and I keep saying that we will. And that's a promise I'm going to keep to you guys. When we get our Skull Greymon, probably in our next uh, phase of evolutions, our next sort of Digimon that we're going to raise, I think that's going to be our hot time for cranking into the end game. Now, I mentioned before there's a couple other things that we need to do in the meantime, and those are pretty, pretty easy tasks to achieve. I mean, we can basically go anywhere in the world at this point uh, with Todd because he is super strong. Please tell me this is going to be enough for you. Awesome, thank God for that. Now, it is almost a new day, but not quite yet. And so, yeah, we will be doing um, what is next to come in our Digimon adventures. That will be probably next episode, because I think what we'll do is we'll use this as quite a another catch-up episode. We're going to be doing a bit of training. We're going to do another tournament and clean up one or two last-minute city residents uh, and uh, hopefully start us off with a fresh Digimon for the for the next cycle of our state or for our of our career if you like now one thing i do want to point out is it is day 15 right now so as we head across to pick up our meat we can also pick up our rain plant because as ridiculous as it seems we have uh, we're on our third rain plant at this point we're into year three and we have we've played this game quite a lot although it doesn't feel like it we have raised how many digimon are we on now is it four is that right four yep yeah. so our next digimon will be our fifth and there's the rain plant. So we needed this a long, long time ago for Vegemon. We have uh, come quite far, which is kind of awesome. Let's pick up our sirloin. Now, I wonder, is Dromojimon actually in here just now? Let's have a check. If it wasn't yesterday... Nope. So it must be tomorrow, I would imagine. <laughs> We're beginning this narrative again. Holy shit. All right. Let's go down and, uh, and rest with Sentaramon. And then we can actually look to uh, pick up one of the the next pieces of our city resident um collection if you like because there's somebody that we can go and get that i've been putting off going to get for a while now a fairly easy digimon in all honesty but uh it's something someday we need to get nonetheless and it will also uh, be quite interesting to you guys who haven't seen it before as well so let's uh feed todd put him to sleep and when we come back we will be um in border transport Alright homies, so, Burgermon is going to take us all the way to Misty Trees, which we haven't been to in quite a while, not not too far back, but we're going to land here now. We want to be here in the morning time, now it is still night time, and actually, fuck, I never even realised this, Todd actually doesn't like this area being a, um, a virus type, so, I don't know, is this going to mess us up? Let's fucking do it anyway, I don't really care too much we need to actually pass two hours here and i don't know if this time lapse will actually make todd sick let's find out so that was fine and i actually think that we can actually head on now we don't have to do two training sessions with cherrymon that was just a quick way to advance the clock a little bit because as i say we need to be in the area we need to be when uh, a fresh 
or when the morning pops, which is probably in the next hour in all honesty. I don't know if we're going to get a change of weather right now. Uh, we need to juke this guy. Please move. Yep, yeah, you little shit. Alright, and this should be perfect. Now, we will know if we're here at the right time because the enemies that are on the other side of this loading screen won't be here. And it looks like we've nailed it. Yeah, we have. So, statues. Way, way back, we came into Misty Trees and there were these sort of, um, sort of statues going on. I don't know how else best to describe them. We've, we were told by city residents... Oh, God. So, Todd needs to go to sleep. That was good timing. We were told that we needed to come to the uh, Misty Trees in the morning time to find a unique Digimon. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the unique Digimon. So, as I say, Kokitorimon is your chicken guy. We actually picked up the Digivolution item for Kokitorimon um, from Penguinmon, I believe. This is who it is that you fight against. Now, as you can see, um, he has decent stats for being champion. And if you were to come here with a sort of weak champion, like if we had came here with Todd when he was in Devimon form... I don't know how we, well we would have um, faced off against this guy because although although we're kicking his ass right now, in fact, we can probably finish him off with this move right here. Kokotorimon, oh, he actually, <laughs> well, all range beam, God bless. He actually dropped some really, really nasty wind moves on us, as you can see. Let's use Ice Statue and finish him off, put him out of his misery. He drops uh, Mego Sparks on us, uh, wind, wind cut, not wind cutter, um, the big move that spreads out spinning shot. And uh, he can be quite a quite a tough enemy to fight against. So we pick up some stats, a tiny bit of money, and hopefully a stat chip as well. Actually, I have no idea what this is going to be. Defense chip. We can stick that in our collection along with all the other chips and uh, find out what this guy's got to say. Hmm. So, you're something else. That was pretty good for early in the morning. Well, yeah, we're actually just going to bed now that you mention it. Hey, hey, don't act like it's somebody else's business. I, uh, that's what we say to him, I guess. I don't really know. I, I know. I know what you're talking about. I've, I've, I've missed the start of this combo and Chicken Boy has completely lost me here. I hear you're working hard for the island by gathering Digimons. Digimons with an S. Yes, that's true. We are collecting Digimons. So, you know, well, why don't you come and help us? That would be awesome, right? Where am I supposed to do? Or what am I... I guess that's meant to be what am I supposed to do when I get there? Um, Blah, blah, blah. The early bird gets the worm. We want you to come to the city and do something useful. So, um... Feel free to do whatever you like. Now, can we really trust him? I wonder. We don't actually trust Kokotorimon. It seems he's a bit strange. Now, Todd actually does need to go to sleep. So rather than put him to sleep right here, we are actually just going to autopilot straight back to the city and make him snooze in the city itself. So, what does Kokotorimon do, ladies and gentlemen? There's a reason why we were putting off getting Kokotorimon to join the city. Let's uh, hit the snooze button here. There was a reason we were putting off getting Chicken Boy to come to the city. And it's pretty much because of what he does when he gets here. So let's uh, save and go. And we entered our tournament. Awesome. So we get a notification. Now, Kokotorimon unfortunately sits right fucking here. So if you can imagine, right? He builds this glorious statue. Um, which, I mean... You can see the resemblance. I mean, Todd does, Todd's trying to hide it as well. He fucking hates it. Let's talk to Chicken Boy. You came at the right time. Look at the sculpture. What do you think? <laughs> what a masterpiece. <laughs> Dude, that is not a masterpiece. I'm just going to tell you right. I mean, it's it's art. It's definitely art, but other than that. So, yeah, when we're running between... Let's say we're doing a training session, right? When we run between uh, the gym and the sirloin and everything else that we do, we have to run between Kokotorimon. Now, he doesn't always sit there. I think at night time he disappears. But holy shit, is that annoying. He literally is right in the way and it doesn't... It's not a huge deal, right? I'm just being arsy, but... Come on, man. I think he actually builds another statue later on into the game that we will get to see at some point. Um, and you guys will see that in all its glory when it appears. Now, we've done a tiny bit of training to make ourselves a little bit more stronger for the arena. Let's see if we can go in here and uh, and kick some ass. Because honestly, I've been um, kind of playing Todd down. I keep talking about how I don't think he would deal with the supers. Let's find out if he can beat the second up uh, rung on the ladder and take one of these tournaments. Now, straight off the bat, you can see in here we've got Leomon, we've got a Monochromon. Leomon actually goes straight down, which is super disappointing. In bracket two of the uh, first bracket, if you like the first branch, Monzimon versus Etamon. That's going to be a sick battle, but Etamon actually clutches that. That's pretty surprising. Third seat over, we're going to see Ogamon taking on Kabaterimon. I guess, I have no idea, Kabaterimon? Kabaterimon clutches that one, and then we've got an ice... Um, Ogremon, also known as like Hyagomon or um, Hyagomon or something like that. 
let's see if we can put this guy down. Now, I don't think he's going to be too much trouble based on our moves, but again, you never know. What I am super di disappointed about is Piximon. Where is Piximon, guys? We came in here solely to give him the ass beating of his life and he decides to not show. Well, fucking, do you know what? It's a good job he did because we would have fucking beat the shit out of him. Let's do a bit of powering up before um, before we fight this guy. He actually takes damage there, which is good. And then after we take a hit here, we may actually try and ice pa paralyze him with stat ice statue here. We didn't get it off that time. We're going to just hit him over and over again. The great thing about Ice Statue, as you're starting to see here, is that it, it goes off extremely fast. So even though he's getting in what looks like Sonic Jab, we're still managing to get it off. Now, we missed that one. Let's get a bit of distance. Uh, we actually defend that. Ice Statue again. We put him into uh, Paralysis mode, and we're just going to try and finish this guy off with an all-range beam. This won't kill him, but our next Ice Statue will. Battle number one, simple as can be. We put down our first enemy, no problems whatsoever. Now, again, had that been an S tournament, would we have been fighting against someone like Monzimon to begin with? Maybe Andromon, Metal Mammon, Giromon, all these guys would have appeared in here. I don't know if that would have went as smoothly. Probably not. Now, Etamon is over that side of the bracket, so we don't get to challenge him right now, which is kind of disappointing, but his time will come. First of all, we need to get through the Bugman himself, Kabuterimon. Now, I actually really like Kabuterimon, and I know that a couple of people down in the comments ex extremely love uh, Kabuterimon. We're, uh, we're still going to have to put him down, unfortunately. I would like to raise one of these guys at some point. Now, I don't know when that'll be, because our next Digimon is going to be Skull Greymon, as we know. I don't think Kabuterimon digivolves into Skull Greymon, but if so, we could maybe make that happen. Regardless... Oh, he actually hits us with a prominence being well, dude. That's pretty slick. And it looks like he was going to use tornado, a uh, hurricane rather there. Blocks our ice statue and drops another prominence beam, which we block. That is fucking awesome. He blocks on us, and we block on him. What the hell is going on? He blocks it. No, again. What's going on? Are we in like a glitch right now? Holy shit! We just did like six blocks in a row. The defense right here, boys, is insane. Let's get an orange beam off and put this guy out of his misery. This is going to hit, hopefully. Don't dodge. Yeah, because he's fucking frozen. Awesome. We'll, we'll land another. Did we block? No, we didn't block that one. Now, we have our ultimate, which I would like to use ASAP. Let's uh, let's hit defense. Let him block one. Oh, he actually fucking... Oh, dude, that was a mistake. I could have used Mattel if I was faster there. We're going to have to tank this, unfortunately. 1,400 damage. Let's use our ult right back. And hopefully this is enough to kill him. Can we get a max range ult? Nowhere close. Almost. That would... Uh, yeah, I would like it if that done a lot of damage. Let's try and finish this battle off because I would like to keep as much HP as possible. We're going to have to use one more ability here. And with that, Kabuteri Mon goes down. Now, he put up a super good fight, guys. Super respectable. Considering that we are in alt mode, I didn't think we would need to use any full potentials during that fight. But apparently, it might have been a better idea. We are going to get about 1,000 HP back to fight against Etamon, but still, Etamon is super, super fast. He has a lot of uh, moves that put us into virus mode, which is extremely annoying. I would like to use full potential here, but I don't know if we're going to get a chance. This battle is going to be mostly ice statues to try and paralyze him and then go off our other abilities in between. So, the moment of truth. His other stats are not too good, but he is up on us on HP, so let's power up here. Oh, excellent, Todd. You fucking legend. All right, so we are going to use this time to power up. Come on, buddy. Can we get another one in here? Can we get another one in here? Awesome. So we get two pool of potential cycles off. And we're going to try and start an ice... Okay, so we don't... I don't know what that was. I think he just farted on us. That's kind of confusing. Let's try and get an ice statue off him and, if, and see if we can paralyze this guy. Now, I have fought against... I have fought against other Etamons in the past. And, uh... And this dude is an absolute pushover. I don't know if it's because he's in the A bracket tournament, but right now he is going super easy on us. He hasn't powered up and he's only using his uh, filth type moves, which in my opinion is a huge mistake. Like that, guys. As easy as that. As easy as that. Etamon didn't even almost, he almost didn't even touch us. Kabuterimon was much more ruthless than he was. But again, I would have liked to have fought against Monzimon. That would have been super awesome. Anyways, we are the uh, champion of the grade A tournament. We took that super easy, but again, the jump between A and S, I'm only going to say this once more, guys, I promise, but believe me, the jump between A and S is fucking insane. So, although we, we smash that, let's see what our prize is. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So we get 8,000 bits, which is great, but we also pick up a bloody flaming main, which, you know, normally we would be delighted about, but we actually already have a fucking flaming main. Oh well, that's kind of hilarious. Let's actually, I think, 
Todd probably needs to go to the bathroom super quick, but I actually just want to check what tomorrow's tournaments are as well for the road. So it's the 15th today. We actually have an A-band tournament tomorrow. I don't know if it's worth doing another one. We actually, he won't actually let us sign up for it. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because we're in between tournaments or something. I guess it, it doesn't matter too much anyway, but we pick up another flame in main. I guess that's not too bad. If we want two Leomons, we can have two Leomons. We could also sell that item for, I think it's like 5k or something like that. Not not too bad, I guess. And as you can see, Kokotorimon no longer stands outside the bathroom at the statue, so I guess that's kind of cool. But Todd is tired. He is, uh, he is needing fed as well. And we actually have a bit more time before this day is out. So, I think rather than take Todd on another training session, because honestly, you guys are probably not fussed about that either, I think we could actually go a little trip to um, to Great Canyon, because there is something in Great Canyon that we need to do. So, let's take our boy um, Bergamon to the Great Canyon and find out what it is that we need to get up to, because there's something else that could benefit us that we haven't actually went back to do there. It's not super exciting, but I think you guys will enjoy it as well, or... In like any case, I think you guys will, will like what we've got there. So let's have a look. Great Canyon top area. We haven't been here in a while. We haven't uh, we haven't visited here for quite some time. Let's actually go straight in the elevator. Why is there no Digimon here? Dude, that's super spooky. Is that because we flew here? Hmm. No Sandy Amamon appear here when... Alright, okay. So we got some ones chilling up there. Dude, that was fucking weird. Let's, uh, let's go down. Because we need to be hitting the bottom part of the canyon. There's going to be a couple of guys here to dodge, which is kind of annoying. Little Weedmon, going to dodge you, no problem whatsoever. And we are going to head down to the bandit area, or the fortress entrance. Now, there's sometimes a prickly pear spawn in here, as we have saw in the past. Can we get one this time? No, it doesn't look like it, but honestly, who gives a fuck? Let's go into the ogre fortress, back in the day of Gandalf and the fuck boys. Let's pass through here into one of the back rooms because there's someone waiting for us and he's probably been waiting for quite some time and uh, we've neglected him so it's honestly not too big a deal because the ogre fortress is kind of out, the, out of the way it's kind of strange but regardless here we are so unless I'm much mistaken we should in fact have our, or our fifth and final nanimon spawn Let's see if this guy can I actually... I'm going to pull Todd over to the side and see if you guys can see the interaction a bit better. Because Todd takes up a lot of room. No offence, Todd. Don't eat me. Who are you? Tell us. Don't run away. Who am I? Who are you? Dude, we asked you first. We've been through this a million times. And just like that, Nanimon sprints off for a fifth time. We pick up a, a dimensional keychain, which is just insane. Remember the first time we picked up this guy? I think it was in Dino, um, in the slow time zone or whatever. We actually pick him up for the fifth time. Now, he didn't tell us right there, but he's actually um, he's actually joined the city at this point, I believe. Now, Jigimon can actually confirm that for us, but far more importantly, we pick up our enhanced backpack. So, before I show you the backpack, let me show you in the player um, icon. Down in the bottom right, we have now got all of our four slots you see down there with the fishing rods and the keychains. All four of those are maxed out and our backpack is now enormous. So if we scroll down, we have all this free space that we didn't have before. Five nanimons means that we can carry a fuck ton of shit, which is honestly kind of cool. Now speaking of carrying things, although our backpack is insanely big right now, we need to deposit some things that I don't want to be losing if we uh, were to slip on a banana peel. So let's see what we can actually deposit. I guess our rain plant can go in there. Our our one digi mushroom will hang on it. We have seven restores. Jeez. Our defense chip we can stash. Our flaming main. Honestly, I don't know why we're stacking the flaming main, but do you know what? Who cares? Let's um let's actually head back outside because I think it's almost time for Vegemon. And uh, hopefully Dromojimon as well, unless my calculations are again madly askew. Let's uh, let's find out. So it is actually the next day, day sixteen. Let's find out if the uh, the pink guy is here, pink, purple, horny, whichever um, description you would like. He's not here, and so it begins, the guessing game of finding out when Remote One appears on us. I honestly think it's something. I'm starting to think it's something to do with the new year. You know when you uh, pass into the new year with Dromojimon, I honestly think it fucks up the calculation of when he comes back. Again, not completely sure, don't really care that much. Um, we have 36k on us, which isn't bad. 
Todd is age 17, which means I think we have a few more days with Todd. I'm going to do a quick nip down to the arena one last time and see if we can actually find a better tournament to kick about with Todd because in all honesty guys, we are starting to tidy up almost everything that we need to do with this guy. And I think rather than, well, I was going to say rather than waste the last few days of his life doing nothing, uh, in all honesty, there aren't that much left to do in the world other than um, continue on the storyline. So let's uh, first of all, let's have a quick peek at that and discuss um, our other stuff in a minute. So today we have a King of Blazing Digimon, obviously fire types, that's your Metamons, your Greymons, your Burgermons. We can't enter that unfortunately. We have a H-type, which the game won't even tell me what that is. And we also have a, a load of garbage tournaments. So let's sign up for our only good tournament, which is tomorrow. It's another A-type. And yeah, Todd at this point can only do a few things. He can advance the, the storyline, he can do tournaments, and then he can train. Now, training him is kind of pointless because he has a few days left. We could also use him to grind for money because, in all honesty, we kind of need a bit money of money because what we're going to be doing over the next few days when we raise our new Digimon is actually, is actually going to be grinding him up again. So... That being said, with our new backpack, let's do a bit of spamming on the super carrots while I talk to you guys. So, I'm going to just pick up about 10 of these each. And as soon as our baby Digimon rolls around again, we're basically going to be, um, we're going to be spamming this guy. We're going to be going full tryhard mode. We're going to be using all of our resources, our super carrots, our hot radishes. We're probably going to take them to the restaurant a few times and see whichever chef is on. And, uh and try and get this guy to the stats of Skull Greymon, but basically as high as we can. Now, you guys are probably interested... I just bought an extra super carrot. Honestly, that's kind of annoying, but who cares? We... You guys might be interested in which Digimon... Did I just do it again? You guys might be interested in which um, champion we're going to go through, which rookie and which egg we're going to be doing. And I can talk to you guys about that a bit as well. Let me just check real quick. Real quick, because I think we have a bunch of super carrots here. 13 to 5 hawk radishes. Let's, uh, let's spam this a little bit more. It's kind of awkward, because when you go back into this menu, it resets because you click buy and then you go down to anyways doesn't really matter we have done enough curling probably for the next few episodes i don't think any of you guys are, are bothered about going into that especially after that moment which we shall not acknowledge in which he may or may not have given us the worst prize in the world let's say uh, have a look at our inventory now we have 12 hawk radishes to our 13 super carrots honestly that kind of triggers me a little bit but who cares i'm not going back in to talk to this guy again and our money status is looking like 23k. So, we have quite a decent bit of money, but we probably, honestly, probably, honestly, we still need a bit more. Let's go along to Factorial Town and, uh, and do some battles real quick, because I want to grind a bit of money, and it just so happens that there's a really good uh, set of enemies we can fight against. Now, we will actually be further in. We're going to be taking our first step towards late game at the end of this episode guys i won't end this episode without doing something else big and i know exactly what that is but for now we are actually just going to use a tiny bit of time to do some grinding while we still have this guy because when our baby digimon rolls back around we won't have the we won't have the ability to come here earn that sick sick moolah that we need to be earning for our medium recoveries our large recoveries because as soon as we hit late game this is the battle oh no it's not it's actually in the next area can I dodge past you? Grand. When we enter the, the end game, we want to have enough items as well to sustain ourselves through some of the big fights that are coming up because, believe me, there are some pretty, pretty insane fights that are just on the horizon. And when that time comes, as I say, we need to have all of our super recoveries, our super MPs, our medium, all that jazz. Um, let's do a bit of powering up against these guys because, honestly, it can't do us any harm whatsoever. We dodge a lot of these filth moves and we're going to all range beam. Now, I won't show you guys us spamming these guys over and over because honestly, you're not that fussed. I'll show you this battle and then afterwards, we'll probably cut to tournament time, I think. Um, actually, our tournament's tomorrow. If we don't cut to tournament time, I will do a bit of training off screen and then I will show you the important battle that will eventually lead us on to the next part of the game because that battle's pretty insane when it arose around now. Honestly... I wanted to wait a bit until we actually got Skull Greymon because the the Digimon that we are going to be fighting actually has Confusion Storm, which, as you guys may or may not know, is the big, massive, colourful move that Piximon drops on us. And I think this, this Digimon that we are about to fight, again, I keep saying that, but the next battle that we're coming up to, that Digimon has the ability to, te to teach us Confusion Storm. 
And if we could pick that up, that would be absolutely nuts because it's it's a pretty insane move. It turns out that these guys are actually taking a lot more mana than I wanted to spend, but luckily we get them with the last all range beam. I'm not even going to try and use a medium recovery because or floppy because it's not going to work there. And we almost pick up 10k from that fight, which is fucking amazing. Not as good as our Toy Town boys, but honestly, I don't want the I don't want the stress of navigating through Toy Town and all the other rubbish battles that we get on in between. So I'm obviously going to need some MP over and over for this fight, guys. So I'm going to be using some of our uh, MP items. But other than that, we're going to come out profitable. I am going to cut until we go and do something else, or something else after this fight, and I will see you guys there when that happens. Talk to you guys in just a little second. All right, guys, we have just autopiloted back to File City. And we only did about three battles with our friends, uh, Platinum Sukumon, and we are at about 53k. So we actually made a decent amount of money there. I'm just going to take Todd down to the center clinic and rest him up. Because honestly, we have to kind of decide what we want to do here. Now, again, let's, if we look at Todd's age, he's 17. If he, I don't think he's going to pass away today, but again, it's honestly super weird with this game sometimes they live to their 19 which phil did and sometimes they only live until they're about 18 so whether or not we get todd for the foreseeable future is kind of sketch we have obviously a tournament planned but it's not until tomorrow so let me think todd's actually got a few more hours in him before he needs to go to sleep anyway so i am just going to take his ass up to the training facility and see if we can get him to snooze in fact Actually, just to be on the safe side, I think what we can actually do is when we do a bit of training here, we will put Todd to sleep, and when he wakes up and he's going to be full HP, full HP, I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're going to be doing in terms of further in the plot because I think it's about time that I stopped keeping you guys in the dark. If we are to put Todd in a stronger tournament, we need to be training up his MP. So let's hit that up real quick, and uh, and forward a few hours. Yeah, it's honestly I keep saying that we're going to be doing it, guys. So I think rather than just talk shit. Let's actually put put Todd into the next part of the game because I feel like he's uh, he's ready and we're definitely ready. Is it time for you to go to sleep yet? No, it's not. So we can hit another training session up. And hopefully this procs snoozy, snoozy McBye bye let's, uh, let's find out. Sleepy time. Luckily he doesn't need fed, which I am extremely grateful for. Let's uh, save our game here and see what else we can get going on. Because, yeah, like I said, it's about time we've done something exciting with this guy, I think. And he's definitely earned it. Let's head along then and speak to Jigimon for the first time in a long, long time. In fact, I think the last time we spoke to Jigimon was actually when Greymon attacked the city. So uh, let's see what he's got in store for us. He will have a backlog of Digimon that he's going to tell us about. I guess we can use this opportunity to find out whether Nanimon and stuff actually came to the city. Wolfie, I was waiting for you. The day has finally come. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the... Hold the... Put the brakes on. What are you talking about, Digimon? What happened? The entrance to Mount Infinity appeared. So, for you guys that played Digimon World Next Order, obviously late game means Infinity Cauldron. It's called in this... In that game. In Digimon World 1, it was just called Mount Infinity. And you guys must be like, well, is it similar? I'm going to show you guys in just a little second. What? Really? Where? Uh, it's beyond the falls of the city. So the waterfall, actually just up next to Dromojimon. Gosh, it's so close. Yeah, dude, you, you could have warned us that it was that fucking close. What the fuck? I might have been um, going for a swim in the lake and then fell in there by accident. The way I see it is the last, or the last enemy is on Mount Infinity, right? Okay, so it's the last dungeon. Good luck, but don't be too hasty. Don't make a move until you're finally prepared. So Jigimon warns us, boys, if you's are ready to, um, if you think he's already, make sure that you have all your items, you've done all your training, etc, etc. Because once you head up there, shit will go down. So it's very kind for Jigimon to do that. But wait a minute, what's this? We actually get an interaction. Dude, that was rude as fuck. We get an interaction with this guy. Who's this? Airdromon. All right, Wolfie, I found you. Uh, dude, if you wanted to, if you wanted an autograph from Todd, you could have just came up and asked us. You didn't have to fucking fly kick us in the face. Ambush, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty dirty. My goal is to beat you. Well, I don't know how to tell you this, boss, but we're uh, not going to let that fly. Those eyes, he looks like he's brainwashed. So, apparently, Erdramon's face is kind of fucked up. His eyes are going all mental and crazy. It looks like somebody might be manipulating him, as other Digimon have been manipulated in the past. So, Todd's going to give him a free hit, I guess. Turns his back like a boss. Doesn't give a fuck. There it is right there, guys. Confusion Storm. Now, I talked about how I wanted to wait and save 
save this ability for like when we raise our next Digimon. But in all honesty, I'm not sure if Skullgreymon can learn Confusion Storm. I never uh, looked it up, but as you can see, it's an incredibly powerful move. And it has this ability to confuse being, being in the name. Todd is just going to chill. He looks like he wants to go back in and talk to Digimon. Let's see if we can actually fuck up Airdramon because we've given him enough free hits and honestly, he shouldn't be too much uh, too much trouble. He does have a, a bunch of lightning moves as well, which is actually pretty cool to see because uh, we know how, how strong our, our air abilities can be at times. So, again, quite a difficult enemy if we weren't at Todd's status. I think our next ability is probably going to finish him off. He is going to take it right in the face and with that, we defeat Airdramon. Let's see what happens next. Dude, again, fly kick out of nowhere. That's pretty rude. We pick up almost no stats, almost no money. Dude, this guy, this he better be a nice guy when he's not brainwashed because otherwise we're going to have to kick his ass again. No matter what I do, I must defeat him. Wait, what are you talking about, Erdramon? Erd <laughs> and then he fucking, he face plants. You know when you're watching the UFC, guys, if any of you guys watch UFC, sometimes when someone gets KO'd, they wake up and they're trying to fight with the ref because they have no idea where they are. That's fucking Erdramon right there. He woke up and he was like, I need to be him. He's like swinging around. And we actually, we put Airdramon in the bed in the back of Jigimon's house, in beside Mondiamon's stuffed animal, and we put him to rest. So, oh, we don't put him to rest. That sounds kind of, uh, kind of evil or like he's just died. That's actually not the case. He's just snoozing. You can tell his eyes open in there. We must defeat the boss as soon as possible. Yeah, we do. Um, and with that, we have a pensive moment in which we tell Jigimon we're aware of the things that we need to be getting up to, and we appear back outside here. So... Let's have a look at Mount Infinity because apparently it's just along here now. I haven't ever showed you guys this, but if you were to come along here before, there was a waterfall at the side of um, this part of the site, and just behind that is a door. Now, if you, when I was younger, probably a lot of you guys when you were younger would have seen this door and not known how to interact. <laughs> but that timing, holy shit! That door is now accessible. It wasn't accessible up until this point when we spoke to Jigimon. Todd is going to take this fucking fantastic opportunity. I don't know where that came from. He's going to decide that it's time. A moment of silence for Todd, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Just when I was, just when I was about to... I had it, guys. I was dangling Mount Infinity in front of you. I, I didn't think Todd was going to pass away today. I honestly didn't. I thought he, he had like at least a day, maybe two days ahead of him. But he passes away right now. I'm trying to think, did we, no, we, did, well, he did actually did evolve into champion, champion form, from champion form into ultimate very early, we spoke about that a while back, but yeah, there we have it guys, Todd fades away, dude, that hurts more than it should, alright, I guess we, onwards and upwards with the plot, now, we're going to take this into next episode, obviously, but I think we can actually show you guys which egg we are going to pick, because I think, I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. Who cares? We're going to pick it anyway. The the green and white spotted egg. I think this is the egg that we need. Now, this is the egg that we would normally pick to get Agamon. But on the other side of that spectrum, there is also another Digimon. And I think this is the correct one. Let me just check in the chart real quick to make sure I haven't fucked this up. Now, we are going to be asked, as always, do we want to change his name? As we have done in the past, we are going to take a new name. Todd's legacy is behind us. It is a uh, we're 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 very pleased with with Todd. He didn't get to do as much as everyone else, but do you know what? Todd was one of the strongest Digimon we have raised thus far. I keep saying that, but as soon as we unlock full potential, as soon as we got Ice Statue, I mean, he went into the Grade A tournament and he fucking demolished it like no problems whatsoever. So we have to respect Todd. We have to love him. We have to leave him, and we're going to name our new Digimon now. I think it is only fitting. Do I want to do this? I think we do, guys. We're going to call this guy JJ. No, we're not. No, we're not going to call him JJ. What am I talking about? I want another name. Fuck that. We're not calling him JJ. We're going to call this guy PJ. I think that's much, much better. I don't know where JJ came from. I got a bit obsessed there. Okay, so PJ is our newest Digimon. Let's have a look at the Digimon chat and check that I haven't messed this up. Perfect. Now, this is Bottomon. He is going to eventually evolve or did you evolve into whatever that guy's called, whose name I can't remember, but we will know it for the start of next episode. And we are going to be raising our other side of the Digimon tree to that. Eventually, I don't know where we'll go in the Digivolution path, right? 
right now. I have an idea, but when we get to this guy right here, we are going to hit champion and then we are going to eventually hit Skull Grey Mountain as well. So, when that time comes, guys, we are going to be doing a bunch of grinding at the start of the next episode. Maybe we can cook you guys up a compilation of uh, training. I could do another training montage. We're going to be going straight through baby into in training, into rookie, into champion, and through to ultimate. And we are going to be having a look at Mount Infinity. We will be doing that next episode, guys. I will not long. I will no longer keep you guys in suspense. We're going to go and get ourselves a Skull Grey Mon. I will see you guys next episode. Don't miss it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.